This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hey everyone, it's Raziel K and I'm back with another toy review and today something special, Defcon. And as far as I can tell, and I'm a recent collector so I may be totally be wrong, this is probably one of the very few, if not the only, mainline release of Defcon. Uh, a lot of people were saying that he would have been a he would have been a good uh, scourge retool, but uh, he's actually a short bot in the show. Uh, you know, same size as uh, smoke screen, so the luck. Uh, and um, I never thought we were gonna get one, and this one is actually really really good. Uh, he's a um, Studio Series 86 blur retool, and it's kind of hard to see the retool really because. The alt modes are really different. The engineering uh, is shared, but the uh, I don't know. It it looks better than a, a retool. Like it it feels like it's a new mold, um, and, and but that could be just me. And uh, it's already open. I already played with it, and I'm gonna show to you what I really like about this guy. Um, before I do that, I want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, my a main feature of my channel. Also, my Who's Your Favorite Voice playlist, something I came up with to compare, uh, you know, different voices for uh, different iteration of the same character. Uh, that's something fun. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now, let's roll the intro. Follow the Decepticons to Monicus. We'll continue surveillance and monitor all activities. All right, let's take a look quickly what you find in the box. You have uh, the instructions, and then they show you, you know, how to use the gun, how to plug everything, and put it on his forearms or in the back if you want to use rocket boots. I don't know. Uh, but it's a good weapon. It's a cool. Uh, and then you have the transformation, which is, uh, you know, thir 13 step, not too long. And then it shows you where to affect the weapons and uh, all mode. So. Standard Hasbro stuff. I mean, I think they're the best at doing that, at least. Uh, the box itself, you know, the, the alt mode looks, uh, looks good. Open packaging, of course, we all don't like that. Nice artwork. Very faithful to the animation model, so that's always a plus. I don't recall this though. Maybe this, but this, I don't, I don't know. Let me grab a picture. All right, you can see for yourself that wasn't part of the animation model. Uh, the accessories themselves are very hollow as usual, and then nicely painted, a little shine to it, I like that. And then you have the painted gun, silver, of course hollow, but it looks pretty good. And then you assemble the gun. Doesn't matter if you want it, uh, you know, you can put it left or right. You can put the uh, cannons underneath or if you put it on the other side, uh, they're a little higher. It's up to you, it's your toy. You do what the hell you want with it. But the figure itself looks really good. And I'm gonna bring in Blur here, just for comparison. I mean, the thighs are the same mold. Legs are completely different, uh, except the toes. The toes are the same. The kibble and the back is... A different shape I mean same idea but uh, it's not the same mold crotch area has been a little uh, retooled the abs are different the chest is different the arms are different uh, there's no kibble underneath with uh, like we have with blur the backpack is different uh, it's called, uh, like, I mean, it shares engineering, but there's only two parts that are identical. So, 
kudos Hasbro. This is a fantastic retooling. I love the color on the guy, the pale blue, the red Autobot logo, you have silver highlights, the chrome, well, the silver chrome face, gray, uh, the, um, the blue hands. Here you have two tones, like you have gray, you have silver. The highlight on the, you know, the abs are looking really good. You have some paint for, I don't know, lights. The paint on the feet, that, that's super shiny. Like this is plastic red, but this is painted red and this looks really good. And from the back, you know, he's not too hollow. I mean, you have some hollowness here, of course, but no, man, this, this is a fantastic figure. I really dig it. And in alt mode, he's very solid. There's no looseness. Like this guy, you know, doesn't shake. So I I dig it. Uh, you have the head on the ball joint. You have your Ferris wheel. Uh, arm go ups like this. You have a rotation uh, on at the elbow. You have your elbow band, 90 degree. You don't have a hand rotation. That's, I guess they could have still included it, but there is a transform part, you know, like the way it transform it just flips like this. You have to be careful not to scratch the paint on this, but so that's why I guess it doesn't rotate because because of the joint who's there, you can't really have another one for a rotation. So that makes sense. You do have your merry-go-round uh can you do the johnny cage i'm pretty sure you can there you go nut punch and then you have a well no you have your knee band big cable in the back prevents it to go any further um and then you have your ankle tilt uh or rocker I always mix those up. And then you have, well, because of transformation, you do have a toe movement. But overall, this is a fantastic figure. If you haven't picked it up, you should. And at the time of this recording, they're still available at DJC Collectibles. Uh, we sold out pretty much of that wave, but this guy is still available. And then you can put the gun on his forearms like this which looks uh well badass there you go all right let's do some size comparison with no not you we already saw you let's go with fellow obscure character hauler who's been fully toy axe and i love this guy and you know i might get decals for this guy when they come out mukudo magic square collaboration uh, blueberry girl uh, their version of chromia and his partner or I guess associate for the episode, Smokescreen from the Earthrise line. And that's probably my wife's favorite color scheme. All right, let's take this guy and put him in alt mode. The Decepticons must be stopped at all costs. Flizzardo, I invite you to join me as my partner. And there you go, alt mode. And this looks really good. I mean, there's of course, you know, some Hollow part, I, I wouldn't call that hollow part in the way it's done. Uh, the propulsors are, you know, not fully attached to the uh, this side, but I mean, they connect everywhere, but he looks really good. There's, I guess, landing gear. Uh, it's kind of missing on other figures. Back end cleans up really nicely. Uh, the front end looks really good. And then you have all these uh, highlights looks really good i mean silver and chrome uh the uh, the red highlights the arms um very few apparent pins uh, except a couple places uh the little wings on his arm uh that looks good i mean i guess adds to stability when you want to display him like this uh, but overall he looks really good and then from underneath of course you have all the empty spot the plastic saving uh, or the money saving gimmick and then you have some I don't know headlights and double cannon looks amazing 
Let's do some size comparison with Magic Square Transport, their version of Delta Magnus, Origin Jazz, fellow Cybertronian mode, and because it's been a while, Leader Class Ion Storm from the Rainmakers 3 pack. All right, now back to robot mode. I am a bounty hunter searching for Decepticons who must be brought to justice. And there you go. You know, and then you can put the uh, little red thing, the propulsors, you know, on the wrist. It's your figure. You can display them however you want. And, you know, be original. Have fun. You don't have to conform to the norm. All right. Well, I love this guy. Honestly, one of my most wanted from this wave, uh, except maybe Dirge. And I really enjoy the color and the, um, the mold. Like the mold, really, the transformation is fun. It's simple, uh, and, but it's intelligent. The paint is really good on the guy. Uh, and barely any hollow spot in, in either mode. Uh, you know, it's not as bad as some other figures we've seen. So I'm very satisfied with this purchase. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review, if you did please like, subscribe and hit the bell, also leave a comment, love reading those, keep coming back, I have more on the way, and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!